Hello and welcome. My name is Sam Wanyoike and this is the Building Consultant Show. Here we seek to educate, challenge and inspire you on your journey of construction. Today we want to talk about the interlocking blocks. The interlocking blocks is a technology that, uh, that is usually done in place of the conventional method of doing the normal stones with mortar. It is a technology that has been in use, especially in Kenya, for some years now. Though it has not really picked up so well, a reason we, of which we will be able to discuss as we move on. But for today, we want to investigate how this technology is different from the conventional stone walling that is used widely in Kenya. The name interlocking block comes from the fact that these special stones, I would say the blocks, have grooves that interlock between each other. And these grooves are the ones that create that rigidity, they create that firmness once the blocks are laid together on each other. It achieves its economy because of the fact that you use very little or no cement uh, mortar to join the blocks. Normally, the blocks would be made either of stab uh, stabilized soil or they can be made of uh, lightweight concrete. The block that we have here with us today is one that has been made out of the concrete, light concrete. What I mean is you can either man manufacture the blocks by doing a light concrete with some cement or you can also prepare the same blocks using a soil that has been stabilized by addition of cement into it. The purpose of the cement is to hold the particles of the soil or the concrete together so that the block does not disintegrate. The content of cement is very important because if the content is very little, as you can see, the edges might easily begin to disintegrate. So to be able to produce a very robust or strong block, you will need a higher cement content. The one thing that I would also want to mention about this particular block is the fact that some of these blocks, like this one you can see, is also hollow from inside. This helps so much uh, for a few reasons. One, it reduces the overall weight of the building. Number two, that hollow also reduces the material that would be required to prepare this block. And thirdly, the hollow from inside is also good for ins insulation so that the room remains cool when it is hot and does not get so cold during the cold seasons. The advantage of the interlocking blocks, and as I talk about interlocking blocks, I, would, I think most of us in Kenya would commonly refer this uh, technology as Makiga. The reason why the Makiga has been the name that has been used is because the blocks have been associated with that company that manufactures these blocks. The major advantage of these blocks is the overall cost of preparing the wall. This is because besides production of the blocks, we will not have cement mortar. And number two, the process of laying the, the blocks together is usually faster. Why? It's because the blocks themselves by design, you are able to prepare your wall quickly by laying the blocks together. In fact, the grooves are specially prepared to allow for uniformity of the wall besides ensuring that the wall is plumb and well aligned horizontally and vertically. The major disadvantage of this block or, or this technology is one, the general perception that we have on this technology because normally it creates an impression of a low cost building and that has been the major reason why the blocks have not really gained a lot of momentum in terms of acceptability into the industry. The second thing is that the blocks to be able to give you a proper appeal would require a kind of finish that sometimes is not incorporated making the wall to look incomplete. Thirdly 
As I mentioned, some of the blocks, if the content of the cement is less, they begin to disintegrate from the edges and so making the house look bad. Yet the cost of repair of that kind of a wall would be quite an amount because the way the blocks have been laid together makes it hard for you to remove one, one block and replace with another. That makes it very hard. But nevertheless, there are, as I said, that in the rural areas, it has gained an acceptability due to its low cost. That's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope to give you more of this. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel to receive more of the videos. For any comment, feedback or question, please feel free to comment on the YouTube page and we'll be willing to respond to it or reach out directly via the email address that has been shared on the screen below. Thank you and we look forward to having you in the future videos.